Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here today. My name is Frankie Foss, and I work as a professional photographer and filmmaker with my husband, Adam. He was supposed to be here today giving this presentation to you all, but he's actually having a little bit of a routine procedure today. So he's out of commission and I'm taking taking over for him where he left off. Um, we started our business together three years ago. And um, a little bit of background about me. I grew up in Seattle. I grew up in the city. I was never a hunter or spent any time outside. Um, I've never really dabbled in photography either, but I always loved being outside and going to the beach and when I met Adam, he was really into hunting and really into backpacking. And I was really intrigued by that. And it was a really interesting thing that I'd never really participated in. And he started coaching me and bringing me along with him and was really into photography and had a chance to work as a photographer for in kind of an intern capacity, starting out at a little startup. And he, when a door opened, we both said yes. And we started a company together, traveling all over North America, South America. We spend most of our time taking photos of the backcountry and um, have a career in the outdoor industry. So I'm gonna share a little video with you all that this is some of the places that we go and I thought it would give you an idea of um, what, where we are at and the type of work that we do. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy. places that we go and the type of work that we do and um yeah I'm very honored to be here sharing that with you all um if you have any questions I would love to answer them and yeah in the meantime maybe I'll just tell you guys a little bit about where the work that we produce goes. Um, sometimes it's in magazines or on billboards or for advertisements on websites. We do some social media marketing. Um, so you can see our work kind of all over and um, we focus on hunting, but we also spend a bunch of time outside. So we're pretty much 
um, working nonstop on being out there taking photos from um, anywhere from April, May, all the way until December. Okay, so the questions are starting to roll in. How did Adam start? Adam started by picking up a camera when he was a kid. He got a camera as a gift and he took a photography class in high school. Um, and then he kind of just went from there and started, he was traveling and taking photos on hunts that he was going on with his family. So he spent a lot of time with his dad and his brother hunting and kind of was always interested in a way that he could go out on trips and then bring back photos and remember those um, trips that he'd been on and share them with his friends who maybe hadn't gone out in the backcountry. And he ended up um, meeting a photographer on a trip that he was on with his dad and was inspired and learned that that was a career. And so he kind of modeled uh, his career after that. Um, we don't bring any animals or dogs with us. We just go the two of us, but we do have friends who bring their dogs as pack dogs and they wear little backpacks and they pack their own food and um, they do, we do, we don't, but a lot of friends do. And we also have friends that use llamas and pack horses to get into the back country. Um, what kind of camera and lenses do we use? Do you use a fixed or long shots or a zoom? We shoot on DSLR um, cameras, mirrorless cameras, Sony, and we use lots of different lenses. Adam is uh, really into prime lenses, which is not one that you can zoom in and zoom out. It's a fixed focal length. Um, he, we change and use all kinds of lenses, wide um, lenses that take photos from zoom lenses. Yeah. Um, some other questions here are, where did he and you start to submit photos? Is the process easy or difficult? One of the places that Adam actually started submitting photos was to the Wild Sheep Foundation, um, which is part of why we're all here today. He sent some photos to the Wild Sheep Foundation and they used a photo of his on the cover of their magazine, um, probably 10 years ago. And I think the process was a little bit intimidating, but he put together a gallery of photos and found some info at Wild Sheep Foundation and sent the photos along. So it was, yeah, pretty simple and he had some luck. Um, why do we like doing this? We like doing this because we, it's always different. Your job is always changing and we get to spend some time outside and we also get to meet some really interesting folks along the way that um, are, living in the backcountry, they push themselves to the limits and we get to kind of go along for the ride with them and we get to experience places that not a lot of people go because we're traveling so far into the backcountry and um, you know you push yourself physically and mentally and I think that's really rewarding for both Adam and myself. Um, what are the some of the favorite places to hunt and shoot photos? One of our favorite places to hunt and shoot photos is in Northern British Columbia, which is where we live. Um, well, we live in closer to the border, but we go up north kind of by Alaska and the mountains are really big and remote. The colors and the different flora and fauna up there is so beautiful. Um, we spend a lot of time or as much as we can up there. One of my favorite places to also go is that we've been to is South America. We've been down to Argentina, over to Patagonia, and those mountains are really beautiful. Um, the people there are so nice. So I would say those are a couple of places that are our favorites to take photos in. Can we see some pictures? Yes, I would love to show you some pictures. I'll, um, I have a little gallery I can pull up to show you. Just give me one second. That's a really good question. Uh, 
Um, sorry. Uh, okay, maybe I'll answer a few more questions and then I'll go back to the photos. Did you take the photo of the animal before hunting it? Uh, yes, we take a lot of photos of wildlife, not just hunting. So we um, take photos of sheep, goats, caribou, moose, um, and uh, birds of prey, also fish. Where is your first job that you worked at? The first job that I ever had was I worked as a busser in a restaurant that was a block away from my parents' house. I worked there for a long time from when I was 16 to 20. Um, and Adam's first job that he ever had was he was um, working on building retaining walls for a construction company. Um, if you shoot the animal, what do you do with it? Adam and I process all of the animals and we bring them home and we uh, turn them into burgers and steaks and sausage and we wrap them in butcher paper. We put them in the freezer and then we pull out meat and we eat it all year long. We share it with our friends and family and we um, bring it out for special events like birthdays or holidays. Do you sell your meat? We don't sell our meat. Um, we just share it with the people that are close to us and we just eat it ourselves. Do you like doing things outside and inside as well? Yes, we like to do things outside, inside. Um, we play lots of cards. We really like to cook. And um, Adam is an archery hunter, so he tinkers a lot with his bow and arrow in the garage. And then as far as outside, we really enjoy biking and hiking, um, fishing. We really like to fly fish. Um, do you use the same camera bodies or do you switch based on weight? What is a good small bodied versatile camera? We do switch bodies of cameras versus weight and where we're going. A lot of times when we're going into the backcountry and doing something more longer, like a seven or 10 day backpacking trip, we bring really light cameras, Sony like mirrorless cameras. And then when we're doing something that's a little bit more set up, we have a larger video camera that we use. And that's just exactly what you're talking about. It's a great question. We choose based on weight and how many people are going on the trip. A lot of times you need several people to help bear the load, but if it's just the two of us, we choose a lighter camera and oftentimes we'll break it up. So Adam will carry camp, he'll carry the tent, the stove um, and the fuel and our um, spotting scope and tripod. And then I will carry all of my personal belongings, all of my food, and then I'll carry the camera equipment and maybe Adam will carry a heavier lens. So we definitely split things up based on um, how far we're going. And if we're just gonna be you know, sprinting off the road, then we can bring something that's heavier. What is your favorite meat to eat? Um, my favorite meat to eat is elk. Uh, it's really good, really tender, really flavorful. It's kind of like beef. Adam's favorite meat to eat is sheep and he really likes it a lot. It has a very lean, um, it's very lean and it's very flavorful, but not in a gamey way. So that's his favorite. Um, where do you mostly live at? We mostly live in Southern British Columbia and the town that we're in is called Kelowna. So it's um, right above Washington state in the interior of British Columbia. And we live in a city, it's called Kelowna. There's about 150,000 people here and um, we can get to the mountains in about two hours. And then when we're going up north to Northern BC, it takes us about 12 to 24 hours to drive up there. So we do it over two days and we usually go up there starting at the end of July. And then this year we came back around October 15th and 
we pack all our stuff for a couple months and we um, load up on podcasts and music and snacks and we spend about three days packing and preparing. We bring our own dehydrated food. Um, we bring all of our camping equipment, rain gear and tents and tarps and we spend the, the season up there. What type of gun do you use to shoot the animals? Adam and I actually only bow, bow hunt, only with archery equipment. So we don't bring any guns or, or hunt with guns, although a lot of our friends do. Um, but we are only archery hunters. So we shoot bows and arrows and Adam and I both um, practice all year long. So we have a target in our garage. And then we also go out into the, um, our friends and family have some property and we go out there and we shoot our bows at longer range. And there's also an archery range here and an archery store so you can shoot indoors all year long. Um, what is the most common animal you find when you go out? That's a really good question too. It depends where you are. Different regions have different animals, but a lot of, we see a lot of deer, a lot of mule deer, a lot of white tailed deer. Um, we actually saw a lot of bears this year. Um, up north has a lot of bears on the highway. So we saw a lot of bears and we saw a lot of caribou this year as well. Um, what is your favorite time? What was your favorite time hunting? Um, I think my favorite time hunting was just this last year, we went, we flew in a float plane. So we drove for two days and then we got to a town that had about 50 people living in it. And we got into a very small plane that was on a lake and we took off and we flew for about 15 minutes and we landed on another lake. And it was myself, my Adam and a very good friend of ours. And we spent 10 days, um, camped on the side of a lake and then we did different day trips from there. We were moose hunting. We weren't successful, but the reason it was my favorite, it was so beautiful. We played lots of cards and we had just a really good time. The plane ride in was so much fun and we had great weather. We brought our fishing rods and we got to fish on the side of the lake and it was just really beautiful. Um, what is, do you hunt in the winter? We do hunt in the winter sometimes, although it's a very limited season. So right now there is actually a bison hunt that is open and also a goat hunt. Um, I try to stay out of the winter hunting. Adam does more of that. It's pretty cold. The temperatures are below freezing, but you can do it. It's possible. It's definitely not my favorite. I'm more of a of a summer fall hunter, but it's definitely possible. Um, what other outdoor sports do you do? Um, I kind of covered this one a little bit, but we are try mountain biking, um, skiing and snowboarding, cross country skiing, fly fishing, um, running, trail running, hiking. We also are a little bit into foraging, which is going out into the woods and finding wild foods, identifying them using a guidebook and then bringing them home and cooking them up. So we did pick huckleberries and mushrooms, um, although we definitely consulted an expert and brought along a special book that tells you what plants you can pick and eat. So those are other acti outdoor activities that we re really like to do. What meat do I not like? Um, also a good question. I would say I like all the meat. I have tried a mountain goat before and that was just okay for me. Um, but most game meat is really good and you turn it into not only steaks and burgers, but you can turn it into sausage which is a great way to um, eat game meat. These are really great questions. Thanks, guys. Um, what was the longest time that you've gone up there for? 
from Maddie. Maddie, we went up there uh, for, like I was saying, this year from July to um, October. So that's a pretty long one, although we don't stay in the bush the whole time. So we basically can do about seven to 10 days at a time. That's pretty long because you have to carry all of your own food. So you kind of have to only go in for as long as you can fill your backpack with all your food. That's the longest trip and some, but most trips are anywhere from four to seven days long. And by that time, you're definitely ready to have a shower and um, eat a regular meal. Um, what fish do you like from Serenity? I really like fishing trout, uh, rainbow trout in particular. They're a really fun fish to catch on the fly rod and they're so beautiful. They are challenging, but not too challenging. And um, that's my favorite type of fishing. 